I'm Andrew Main, Wealth Editor at The Australian. I'm talking today to Paul Urquhart, who is a Financial Controller of Australia Post. Paul, um, Australia Post is an organisation we don't, as business reporters, know an awful lot about. Uh, how is it going, given the somewhat inexorable decline of uh, letter delivery? Uh, thanks, Andrew. It's good to be here. Um, look, I in fact, I mean, that, that's correct. The traditional mail is certainly declining. Um, you look at the recent history up until about 2000, our uh, mail or, or letters um, in fact increased with GDP. So we had quite a, a, a reasonable increase um, up until 2000. Since 2000, we found that letters started to plateau. Um, in fact, there was no growth. Up until about 2008, and in 2008, um, since that period, we've, had, we've seen le letters decline in the four to five percent. So that the last four years, we've seen a 20 percent decline in our letter volumes. And that's likely to continue, I take it? Absolutely. There's, um, I mean, clearly the trajectory for tradi traditional mail is that it's, um, it'll continue that decline. Yeah, but I guess you guys have been working hard behind closed doors to, to develop new avenues that are going to try and capture a lot of the online activity. Uh, look, absolutely. With, with traditional mail, um, a, a, as we discussed, the, the mail has, has declined. We're, we're in a situation where, based just on that mail business, so our regulated mail, uh, we lost last year in the 11-12 financial year. Our, our loss in that regulated market was actually a $190 million loss. Um, so significant yeah. sum. Um, and by the way, is it correct that you, you don't actually set your, pr your prices? That, that's right. I mean, I mean, it's a regulated sector and, and the ACCC in the case of the uh, domestic market sets the uh, basic postage rate. Uh, so um, that's not something we set. Um, we have an obligation mm -hmm. to the Australian community to provide a reliable, access accessible community service and, and that, that's something we take very seriously. Um, but at the same time as that, we, we also have a very strong parcel network and, and that's an area that um, we continue to see... With the people buying growth. stuff online? Absolutely. O online, um, we, we spoke about the decline in the traditional mail. Online um, parcel growth has, has clearly been the other side of the channel in terms of the, the success. And we look at... About uh, oh, excuse me, overall, would you say that to par parcel revenue is increasing about the same speed that letter revenue is dropping or not? Well, it, it is. It's actually increasing at a greater rate. So parcels are increasing at 10%. The, yeah. the difference is that letters is such a larger base than parcels. Yeah. So you have a, have a period where um, letters at a growth rate of 5%, despite having a 10% increase on a smaller base, you don't get that um, net out, if you like. Yeah. Uh, so our challenge is to continue to um, drive productivity gains in, in both of those areas, but ensure that we've got a, a very strong parcel offering. Yeah, and so coming back to online, uh, I understand that you're working on some sort of uh, on online letterbox, online mailbox system that will try and capture back uh, in revenue terms a lot of what you've obviously had to give away in letter delivery. Yeah, they looked at, I mean, the, the digital mailbox, the Australia Post digital mailbox is, um, is I think what you're referring to. And for us, we see that as a, if you like, in the physical world, you've got a letterbox, you've got your bank account, and you've got a filing cabinet. Uh, the Australia Post uh, digital mailbox is a com combination of all of those in a secure environment. Mm. Um, and it will enable you to receive the sorts of correspondence that uh, you deem appropriate to receive. So it, it's quite an alternative to, to currently where people may be getting emails, for example. We, we, we see that probably at the moment, 98% of, of all emails uh, involve some form of spam. So, so Certainly mine do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that can, that can filter that out. That, that's yeah, right. Or hopefully, anyway. Now, what sort of date have you got for the rollout of this? Uh, look, we're looking in the coming months to be able to have that, that rolled out. And, and, and one of the positive things is like the traditional mail, um, you know, this, is, this digital um, complementary service is, is something that, that the general public, it's a free service. Yeah. Now, um, where's, your, where's your revenue going to come from? With so that? our revenue is in the same way as traditional mail. Our revenue comes from, from the, the senders. So in this case, the, the big banks and the, the, the government agencies um, who, who send a number of these documents, uh, they'll be paying a cl click fee um, for sending that and ensuring they have a secure product that gets to their required recipients. Because I take it that their click fee is considerably less than the postage fee. A absolutely, and, and, and clearly the costs associated with that are, are, are in line. So, um, and, and excuse me, what, what's the cost to the consumer? 
the, the actual consumer, so the, the individual, the, the people at home, uh, that, that's a free service. So every Australian will be entitled to a digital uh, mailbox. I can't see you having too much trouble getting the locals <laughs> to accept that. Yeah, but I take it you're being a bit coy about exactly how it works and exactly when you're going to roll it out. Oh, absolutely, but in the coming months we're, we're um, looking forward to the, the, the launch of, of the Australia Post digital mailbox. I noticed that your chief executive, Ahmed Fahur, has just pointed out that email is, is not very secure at all. Can I assume from that that uh, you'll be rolling out something that is much more secure with, with the digital mailbox? Okay. For Australia Post, security is, is a paramount. Uh, it, it was also the case with our physical um, mail service. Um, and certainly with the digital mailbox, that's, um, that's a key aspect of the, the product. Uh, Australia Post traditionally is a very trusted brand. It's one of, in fact, uh, I think it's the number two trusted brand in Australia, which we take very seriously at Australia Post. And through that confidence that the, um, the Australian people have in the brand name, for us, security will continue to be of utmost yeah. importance. So I guess it'll come down to whether people can remember their o their own uh, their own password and, yeah, and whether they invent a sensible password absolutely. rather than postbox or absolutely. mailbox. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.